Salty Lashes, you can sit with us this week. It's just Jeff and I and Ozzy. Look, you can even see me because my face is... <laughs> if you stand like this, you don't have to look at me. It's just Jeff and I and Ozzy. A look at the look she just gave you. Hmm? Um, Avery Poppy and Goldie are in Arizona for a few days visiting family. So we have a small family this week. <laughs> I always think that would be kind of cool. That would be weird. I think it would be kind of cool. Like, I have my arm wrapped around you. I'd look like an impulse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're making tomatillo salsa. It is so simple. <laughs> Sorry about that. And there's a couple different variations. I'm going to put the recipe on the blog because what I'm doing right now is for neighbor gifts. So it's just a mass amount of everything. So I'm going to put a better recipe to follow on the blog. So to start, you take tomatillos, and if you don't know what they are, just go to your grocery store and ask the produce manager what they are. They come in a husk, you need to peel it back, and then the different variations you can do. So you can either just wash them and then quarter them and put them in your blend tech raw. You can roast them in the oven um, if you like more of a charred. I've tried that a couple times, but I like this way better. And then I typically will parboil them. So I'll just boil them. I just said parboil, but I actually don't even know what that means. <laughs> I think it means like slightly cook them, right? I don't know. What does it, it mean? I don't know. Google it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back and just say parboil because I think I'm right. So I cook them. Parboil? Par, P A R. Just partially? Yeah, partially boiled. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to just But, but them. it's not worth it to oven roast them, right? Because that takes a lot of time and it doesn't really make that much of a difference, does it? I don't, I didn't really like it when we did it. I know yeah, I've had other people's like and it's this. better, but I just think it's a little more fresh and has like a really vibrant taste if you don't roast them. Um, anyway, I just put them in the, Jeff's still obsessed with his, John John hat that I swear he refreshed the Nike site, I don't know, 424 times probably waiting for those to go online and he got not just one but two of the exact same hat. Can't get them anymore, sold out. And the only people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, back to those. Just boil them for like two or three minutes just to get them a little bit soft and then rinse them and I put a little bit of ice over them just to cool them down faster. And then we need to, know, I can't reach. I was going to man the machinery and you were going to do Okay, after the tomatillos, this is why Jeff and I don't really do a lot in the kitchen together. Because I'm really annoying. Um, anyway, you take heirloom tomatoes and chop them up. I just do, you can do any color heirloom tomato. I just like the green or the yellow ones because it keeps the salsa green as a tomatillo salsa would be. So basically you're doing half tomatillos, half heirloom tomatoes. And I don't do anything to these. I just roughly chop them. And I don't think my blend tech is gonna hold as much salsa as I'm making. So I'm gonna have to make this probably in two different increments. We're gonna have to get some bowls. And get some bowls out. And then white onion. Take your jalapeno and I already took the seeds out of ours. If you like a lot of heat, keep the seeds in yours, but because we are making this for not just our family, um, then I am gonna take the seeds out. Hold up. Okay, you can blend it a little bit. Ozzy. Well, Jeff starts that. I'm gonna cut some lime. Yeah, just get it like a wrap, just so we have room in the blender. And then you're gonna juice a few limes. Again, I'll have a better recipe um, on the site.
building on recipes. Soup. So you have garlic on your lips. That's how much garlic is in there. You had garlic it's a on chip. Your, No, it's garlic. I just tasted it, dude. It's a chip. <laughs> she loves garlic and salt. <laughs> Beware. sit back. Thanks for the radiogram. I love to work with you in 2018. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> they kind of lighten you up a little bit. We just gore fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who's your favorite artist? What kind of artist? Like... Painter? Yes. <laughs> you don't have one. Do you have one? Um... You don't have one either. Yeah, I do. What? Nothing. Okay. I'm just keeping a lookout. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nervous on it. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Let me just say really quick, we're about to film the Q&A, but we had to set up at right, our front door is directly in front of us. And if you've seen pictures of our front door, it's glass. It's mainly glass and walnut. Walnut? She doesn't even know what kind of wood is in our house. <laughs> it's walnut. But Jeff just told some people. No, you can't say that. Yeah, I'm going they to. They might see this. They don't follow me. Yeah, yeah, right. They don't yeah. follow me. But Jeff just told some people we weren't home. <laughs> So they would now he's sitting here nervous, afraid that they're going to show up while we're filming, which would actually be really embarrassing because you can see right into what you guys can see right now. Okay, Q and A's for the week. It's kind of boring. Lisa, what is your <laughs> daily routine with four daughters? One question <clears throat> that came in wanting to know what the daily routine is over here. So kind of different every day, to be honest. It kind of depends on Avery and Poppy's schedule. They have a block schedule at school, and this is like the most boring conversation. Which, by the way, did you know they both made the field hockey team? Yes. You did? Why wouldn't I not know that? Because they- We talked about it in the car. We did? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, they both made the field hockey team. Luckily, they made different teams, but for the same school. So they're on separate teams, thankfully. Otherwise, I would foresee a lot of dental. No, they're, ten, they're team players. Bills. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. They would just take over the team. They would work together so well. <laughs> they would knock each other's teeth out, <laughs> what they would actually do. Okay, daily routine depends on the kids, what they've got going on. But typically... Ozzy wakes up at 5.50. Ozzy's We bring awake. her from our crib into our bed. We cuddle for a little bit until she starts crying. <laughs> Once she starts crying, we go get her a bottle. That's usually around 6.10. Then we feed her a bottle and change her diaper. You're such a robot. Then Goldie, Goldie's finally already wakes up. Well, whatever. So, but some days she like sleeps in. Some days she's up at like 6 a.m. downstairs eating frozen Eggos watching TV. <laughs> I will say what's funny about Goldie. She's afraid of everything. She's afraid if it's the middle of the day, it can be two in the afternoon. If you tell Goldie, go upstairs and grab whatever. I can't, I'm afraid. But for some reason, she's more than confident coming downstairs. Yeah, it's, I think it's because our, our house is so bright in the morning. I don't know why. There's so much light coming in. I just think she's manipulating us. Probably. Yeah. Lisa does drop off while I watch Ozzy. Yeah, Jeff watches Ozzy. I leave, take Goldie to school. Avery and Poppy walk to school. And then I go to either Body Rock or I go to Orange Theory. And then I'm home around 9.45, 10. And then Jeff <laughs> can start his day. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Because <laughs> it sounds like a long time. 9.45 or 10 seems like the morning's over. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. No, it's not. It's fine. Go ahead, then. <laughs> <laughs> See, the way we've worked it out with, with Ozzy is Lisa's responsible for her from 9 in the morning till 9 at night. <laughs> the whole day. <laughs> and I'm responsible for her from 9 at night till 9 in the morning. Anything got so, a better deal. If she wakes up in the middle of the night, then I gotta take care of it. It's so hard. It's Take good. It. it works out though because Review. Lisa, Lisa can work at night on her computer. I get to work. And she gets to go work out in the morning and I get to have the day to work in the shop when all my retailers are open and everyone is ready to do business, you know, got to make those deals. <laughs> <laughs> when people are awake, <laughs> I can't be calling people at two in the morning like I'd like to, but. Yeah, I got a good deal. I get to work every night from... I'm free to work. <laughs> I'm free to work well, she takes night. naps. She takes naps. Come on. Ozzy takes cat naps is what yeah. she takes. And, she takes 20 minutes. And I'm in the shop, so I'm able to help whenever you need. Yeah, so basically, so I'm, a lot, I'm able nice. to work. He just keeps talking over me because he knows he got a better deal. I can work on my computer from like 9 p.m. till 9 <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. how it happens. You work, but then I do she's, get to go to the gym. So she's I'll take pretty. It. She's pretty busy, but I'm. What do you mean? I'm pretty. Busy? No, Ozzy. Ozzy's pretty busy, but you can still wrangle her and get stuff done. It's getting harder, actually. The yeah, older she gets, for sure. The more mobile she is. We're as... probably gonna have to hire someone to come watch her baby. So if you want to send in no. creepy applications, go ahead. I've actually had people already. Really? Mm -hmm. to. That they want to be nanny here. Mm -hmm. We any yard crew people. We need a yard for more than we need a nanny. <laughs> We've never had a nanny. We've never had sitters. So I don't know if I could actually do it, but this would actually be the only time I feel like I might need it because Ozzy is busy. Yeah. And when Goldie was a baby, um, I didn't start working till Goldie was one years old. And then I started training out of my garage. So I never really affected her as a baby. So this is the only time I've had a baby that I've been working full time and I actually might need some help. But it's kind of hard for me to admit that I need help. Yeah, we both need help. What kind of help do you need? <laughs> I need like two welders, one grunt man, and one assistant. Okay, another question. Is that your whole routine? Oh, I what got happened? sidetracked so easily. What's, I mean, what did I end on? There's a couple times a month where she's going to get her hair done, her nails done. She goes I don't get my hair done twice. Dr. Zoe. Way. And you she have to goes go see Dr. Zoe. To get her massages and her reflexology. Oh my gosh. You has make it seem like I have a cush life. Other life, stuff dude. that goes on in Orange County with girlfriends. So oh, and she has photo shoots a couple times a week. I have to meet with Ariel every week, which I love meeting with her, but. So we're busy around here. It's we'll hard get to keep track. Time. Actually, I mean, that is, that's, I know. This is like our schedules, but this is not even talking about our middle schoolers' t uh, schedules. Mm -hmm. So they're all over the place with friends. You got your driver's license to like the year 99 or 2000, probably, right? 99. 99 that you got your driver's license? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. The internet was brand new, right? It's all about AIM, AOL. I never had an AOL account. That's surprising. It is surprising because I still have a Hotmail account. <laughs> I think the devil controls two things. Well, two things I'm talking about. I think... <laughs> I think it controls Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> what else? You ready? I think I've told you this before. Cruise control. Cruise control, dude. Cruise control is... Sometimes it gets hairy. I think that's enough. <laughs> it's a really boring conversation. It's me mo most mainly as cracking my sarcastic jokes. <laughs> it's not um, even real. Wait. Um, normally. And I also got water. Which have you ever seen me order water at dinner? Yeah. You have? On our first date. That's the only time. Do you guys know that Jeff played football in college? at BYU, two years? Two seasons. Two seasons. The last two seasons of Matt Allen's career. 
Matt Allen being his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up with three sisters and I have these two, three, like really four cousins that I really look up to the most. And Matt was one of them. He was like a brother to me, closest in age. And we hung out all the time. He, he lived in Phoenix, grew up in Phoenix too. I went off to all his football games in high school. And his brother Michael too. And you still are good friends with him. Yep. Was, that was the best part of playing at BYU is getting to spend so much time with him. Because you see him every day, you do workouts together, you do drills together. He was a receiver too, so lots of time to talk and keep up with each other, which is fun, especially in college, those years. You know, because it's like talking about tires, it's so boring. Talking about tires? Tires. You got new tires. It's like 255, a, such, 55, such a boring, R19s. Such a boring conversation, but. Good year. If you can have kids, like a Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. <laughs> what? She had a baby around the same time as Ozzy when she was 52. Oh, really? Or 53. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, modern technology. Anyone can have babies. <laughs>